I'm going to take a look at passing an object as a parameter to a function. I've got a function here called set defaults, and it's got one parameter, O. And down here, I've got a few calls to that function and setting some values for the properties that are inside here. And what's inside here are default values and also a way to get values from the properties of an object. Right now, there is no object defined above this function. However, this parameter is ready to accept an argument. That argument is an object. So what happens here is that when there is no object, which is the argument, so if there's no argument provided to match that parameter that's expecting an argument, it's going to return undefined. And so then this function triggers. And this first line here will evaluate. It'll say, if there is an object provided as an argument, go ahead and use the properties and values from that object. If not, go ahead and create an empty object and assign it to the variable O. Then the following lines, go ahead and look in the object for the key, key string and the key, key number, and the key, key boolean, and tries to grab that value that's in that object if it's provided. If it's not provided, then it'll go ahead and create that property and give it a default value. So it does that for all three of these here. So that by the end of this function, by the time it gets to this return, you've got here where it created an empty object called O and it's got these properties with these default values. However, what will happen is if there is an object and it's got these properties in it and they have a value assigned to it, then those values will take over. These defaults only kick in if they're not provided. And then this last line here says just return and I've got here a string and then it'll go ahead and grab the value from key boolean, the value from key string and then key number down over here. So whenever it's called, it'll go ahead and return that and I can use alert here to display that in a pop-up. I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna see three different pop-ups and there we are. So I've got key boolean, that's the string right down here in the return and then we've got the value for it. Now, here is showing true. However, I'm using here on line 12, this is where I'm making the call. And so key string, I'm setting it equal to the value and yet another string. And so that's what I see right here, and yet another string. Right down here, key boolean, I'm giving it the value of false. However, it's returning true. What's going on here is that whenever this evaluates the OR operator, evaluates booleans, so true and false. If any one of these is true, it's true, the entire thing. And so that's what we'll process. So in this case, I'm supplying it false. So false would be right here where key boolean is on the left. However, there's a true in there. And so this would be true. And so that's why it's returning true up here. And then key number, I went ahead and gave it the number seven. And you see the number seven right here. Although right here, the default is 10. It's not displaying the default 10. It's using the one that I supplied to it. So now the next alert is gonna be the next line down here, the next call. And then I see here that it says key boolean, false. But again, one that's plugged in right here, there's one true and this entire thing is true. And so that's what it returns. Key number 29 right here. And then bring the string and then bring the string is right up there. 
something to also take a look at here this is not in the order as we see it here in the return so key boolean you'll see that it returns a key boolean then the key string and then the key number however down here the way I've provided it is not in that order it's key boolean and key number and key string however it's going to give you the same result in terms of the order that it's in. The values are different because I provided different values down here. For this third one, I provided the key string value and the key number value, but I did not supply the key boolean value. And so what will happen is it'll default to the one that I set it to, and that's true. And so what I see here is true. Now when I supply a object, so I'm going to go ahead and create one here. So now here I've got an object that has the properties key string, key number, key boolean, and they have different values each. Now when I run this and call in this object, it's going to go ahead and use these values that are in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to say alert. run that and then you'll see here that the key boolean is true sum of the string and the number five again that true I spoke about a moment ago if any part of this here is true any one of these are true it's going to be true so it doesn't matter if this is false here it's going to still evaluate to true key string sum of the string there we go and then key number five key number five so it's using those values from that object because that's what's being passed right here into this argument so it's going to use these properties values and not use the default ones if there isn't one supplied then it'll go ahead and use these default values that are provided here for key string key number key boolean